Hi everyone. I have been working on faces in my Small Dilutions journal and I am really into this abstract look. <laughs> so <laughs> um, I'm starting with a couple FW inks here and my water sprayer. And in a second, I'm actually going to show you a page, a face that I did yesterday. Um, but I kept a lot of my footage in here. Here it is. This is this is the one I did yesterday. I used a lot of charcoal on there and I loved it. Today's is much different. Um, so as you can see, I just spray it with water and I lift it and I tilt it from one, you know, one way and then another way and the puddles are moving and it's making such a mess <laughs> all over the place. And I'm trying it as I'm doing all of that. And you can see at this point that the blue definitely overtook the pink, right? There's very little pink that you can still see on this page. So now that the blue is dry, I'm gonna go back in with the pink. Now I am deliberately building my colors. I'm right there, uh, there were some bubbles and I just got the bubbles out. So I come back in with the water and I'm not, I, you know, I don't know, I'm building, I have a vision in mind, I know what I'm gonna put on here. So I, I have that in the back of my mind as I'm doing this. So again, I'm just moving the page around and letting it drip, drip and um, I finally started putting <laughs> A paper towel underneath so it didn't get all over my desk oh my goodness and now I'm adding some Liquitex ink so I'm using actually three different brands of ink I had two FW which is Dale or Rowney this one is the Liquitex and I'm going to be using uh, Dr. PH Martin's called Bombay uh, but that will come in a little bit so same thing, I really just want you to see how I'm building these layers. I dry each layer very, very, very well because I don't want the colors to mix um, except for just a little bit right here. This is the last layer of colors. And just kind of note um, where I put that white, especially where you can imagine two eyes being. I do that on purpose because I want there to be a little bit of white for the whites of the eyes without me having to add extra color. So it's, it's pretty strategic. And I just took this pencil and it's not the best one. You can't see really what I'm doing. So I didn't leave too much of that footage in, but I just gave myself a very light um, you know, like a guideline of, of what I wanted where. And you'll see throughout this process that the time I spent the most, well, there's two areas, well, three areas. <laughs> one was doing the layers of the colors with the inks. The second one is you're going to see me do a lot with the eyes. And then the third is the blending because yes, I will be putting color on top of all of that color. And I am so much enjoying just this really abstract kind of face. I'm enjoying it immensely. So the color eyes are not gonna stay that way. Those are the ugliest eyes I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. It's kind of looking like a lion to me at this point. <laughs> um, but anyways, the eyes will change, trust me. Um, and then I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot her neck. So I added on her neck. And what I have here is I have, well, I have the paintbrush and I'm using a little bit of um, studio um, acrylic paint. It's a Claudine Helmuth paint. I used, I think, three or four different colors on this. It looks like it's that yellow Liquitex ink, but it's not. It's, it's the color is almost identical, but I'm actually using acrylic paint. And I just have the acrylic paint on, on a piece of paper with just a little bit of water on it and I am just blending. I do layer upon layer. 
and only in to me what are the more strategic areas um, there's the nose you know a little bit around the face some on the neck and I'm doing uh, again a lot of drawing in between and now I'm taking um, what is that that is a, a graphic pen Pigma graphic and I'm putting some of the detail back in because every time I put color on here right it's it it takes away from the the face the the outline of the face and I put in her um, her eyelids her eyelashes now and I already did her eyebrows now I want her to be looking towards you know her right our left and here I took my Posca paint pen in blue and I got rid of those really ugly eyes <laughs> and it still looks like a lion to me and I think that's because of the drips why <laughs> they go down off of the right side of the page <laughs> she doesn't look like a lion in the end I can tell you that <laughs> And now I'm working on her pupils. At first I put just little dots on there, then I made them a little bit bigger. And now I'm putting in the reflection of light in her eyes. Normally I will add a little bit of white, like to maybe the cheeks or the neck or the lips. But on this one I didn't, and I thought about it, I noticed it, and I'm like, you know what? I kind of like her the way, the way she is, so I didn't add any more of the white reflection okay so now once I start putting on her lip color she now starts looking like a woman and not a lion I think maybe you still think she looks like a lion I don't know let me know <laughs> but I'm using a metallic Posca paint pen and then just um, uh, soft pink and I'm doing her cheeks and I'm going to do them a couple times to where I can see a little bit of pink. That is perfect, perfect, perfect. I used a lot of different pens and everything. And here I'm doing the outline of her mouth again, very abstract. And I'm putting a little bit more substance to her eyebrows, very abstract again. And now I like I lost the shape of her face, so I'm getting that back on there as well as her neck. And now here comes the hair. I love this. I mean, the process is what I love. I love it. This is fun. This is so much fun to do. And I love the end result. I just think it's awesome. And so what I'm going to do, oh, and here I am adding just a little bit more color, um, some more shading. Uh, you'll see me add, this is a little bit of a, like a beige color of that same Studio Acrylic Paint by Claudine Helmuth. And I get it onto certain areas of her. So again, there's a lot of layering of different colors of the, um, you know, the shadowing of the face. Now I'm taking this pen, which has a very fine tip, and I'm going around um, her pupils to give a little bit of, um, a little bit of detail around them. And at the end, you'll see pictures. So you'll be able to see her eyes up close. And this is, I'm using the, the bottom of a, of a, uh, of a pen. Uh, to get little dots on her nose and that's it. I'm done. Look at this. Check out the hair Look at all the color underneath Here's some photos. You can see her really 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 well. I love her eyes I just love everything about her. Let me know what you think I'm really into this and I'm really enjoying it and I'm gonna do some bigger bigger pieces next Thank you so much. God bless. Bye. Bye